Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to go over Niagara Light Renders in Unreal 4. We're going to go over a few examples, but for our first one, we're going to right click in the content browser. We're going to go to Effects. We're going to create a Niagara Emitter. And we're going to create this from the Omni Directional Burst. And we'll just give it a name, NE, whatever you want. And then we're going to right click and we're just going to create a Niagara system right away. We're reading that to something correct. So it says NS, and then we're gonna open up our emitter. Let that compile, we'll save. We'll just take a look at this. And you see it's just a burst. But before I go over demonstrating the light render, we wanna make some adjustments first. So in initialize particle, we're gonna to go to color, and we're gonna change this to a uniform range, random range linear color. And then we're gonna change the color channel mode to none. I'm going to save, and you can see that we have a whole bunch of different colors now whenever this spawns, which is pretty cool. Now also for demonstration, in particle update, we're going to add collision. We're not going to go into detail about this right now, but we're just going to add it for demonstration's sake, let that compile and save again. And now, so we can see the difference coming up, we're going to drag our system into the world, and we're just going to preview it real quick. So I'm going to do force solo. You can see they're just bouncing on the ground. It's totally fine. But now let's go to our renderer and we're going to add a light renderer. And now this should just work, right? So let's take a look and we'll do force solo again. You can see that there's no lights there. So let's look at that emitter again. So in your light renderer, you have a few options in here. You can use inverse squared. This is basically a physically based way of doing fall off for lights. You can change it to affect translucency. You can change the radius scale. And you can also change the color if you want. Now the thing is, if all of these colors are set to zero, it's not gonna show any light, none at all. And XYZ is RGB. So we're gonna set each one of these to one. And then we'll hit save. And let's go take a look at that again. And once again, you'll see it looks like it's not doing anything. It's not doing anything at all. There's no lights. So what's going on? Now it's important to understand that with your sprite renders and even your mesh renders, you have to have a material applied. And in that material, we have a node that's a particle color. That node is why initialized particle and scale color can give us colors. It turns out that the light renderer is also dependent on that. So if we wanted to increase the intensity, we could come to something like scale color. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the scale RGB to a float. And I'm going to set this to something like 100. So we're just changing the scale color. So we're getting the initialized particle colors, whatever color that ends up being. And then we're scaling it right away to 100. So now if we go and preview this, you can see that there's little lights. And they're all different colors. Now, if you wanted some sort of control over what specific color all of these are, you could do that. You can come to XYZ RGB, you set this to something like 100 or more. And now, when these render, you'll see that they have more of a reddish tint. Each one of these are a warmer color. And you'll also increase the intensity when you do that. So we can set this to something crazy like 10,000 save and you can see they all have these red lights on them now let's go through one more example so I'm gonna create another emitter I'm gonna go to effects and click on Niagara emitter and we're gonna make an upward mesh burst and call this whatever we want and then we're gonna create a Niagara system from this right away just rename that correctly. And then we'll just open up our burst. Let that compile, save. And I'm gonna change the spawn burst to one. So we only have one. And then I'm gonna to come to that scale color. And I'm gonna set this to 50. Just to do something crazy. Save it. And then I'm gonna add that light renderer. And then I'm going to set each one of these values to one. We'll hit save. 
and we'll take a look at this system in the world. Put it close to this wall here. Zoom in a little bit. And you can see that this is just working. This is working just fine. So once again, if I wanted more intensity on this, I just come into the scale. I just come into the scale color. I just bump this up. And we can preview it again. You see it's getting more intense. And just the same, if we come to the light render, we could also increase the intensity here. You know, maybe we want this to be more dominant on the green. So we'll do something like 2000. Save that. And you see now it has a green light. So that should cover light renders in Unreal 4. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.